So I have a bit of a problem, you know. I really like games. I play them a lot on my streams, I talk about them and their hardware in my videos, and I just really like playing them. However, I never ever know when something comes out. Case in point, Black Myth Wukong. This game, made by the Chinese developer Game Science, has come out this very week after having been announced all the way back in 2017. It's been a highly anticipated game for its stunning graphics, Souls-like gameplay and the telling of the story Journey to the West. But I didn't know anything about that. And all of a sudden I see everyone talking about this game that I don't have the faintest clue about, nor do I know if it's something I'll even like playing. And I can imagine you may be in the same situation. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get this game, get some impressions about what the vibe is about, how it plays, and I'll put all of that into this very video you're watching right now so that you can have some idea as to what this game is all about. Basically, I'll play the game so you don't have to. Although for this one, you may want to. This game has also been described as a Souls-like, where basically, just like a Souls game, we're gonna be finding a whole bunch of bosses in very interesting ways. Though it's not necessarily a Souls game, which I'm glad with, because I'm not good at those. And oh boy, there we go, we get the Nimbus Cloud. We are going through this. Dragon Ball style, though actually that would be saying that's a derivative. This right here is the original. And oh boy, this game has been in development since 2017 and it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I have no idea what's gonna be in store for us right now. We're not gonna get started with fighting five of these giants right now. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Kind of uh, a bit unfair, I guess. Maybe. My master. <laughs> Safe. The scriptures. Sound. Mm. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain. Free from you and your so called merits. Okay. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me. To obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! Mark this. He's not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. And you're not happy about that. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. So then why did y'all show up? They gave you many chances. Right, lock on target. Each one. What do we have? Such we have a light attack. <laughs> we can roll. Okay, so that's pretty intuitive. Oh shit. Now, what, what else do we have? So, we can run around, we can try and dodge, which I'm not all that good at right now. Oh shit, I'm really not all that good at. Uh, we do have super attacks. I think? Whoa, I just spawned some clones! How did I do that? Right, so I'm now attacking him with a whole bunch of clones. I don't know how I did that. But I have some abilities, which are called Rock Solid, Immobilize, and they're on the timeout. And I think the other one was uh, a Pluck of Many, and a Pluck of Many is out right now, although they just ran away. Just as I was talking about that, they ran away. Okay, so I think Rock Solid is my defense here. Oh, and he's vulnerable right here. Okay, we gotta make sure that we learn the patterns of how he's attacking. The victorious fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. If, we're, if, they, if he's fighting me and I'm immortal, then what is his idea of like how he's gonna win this? Oh, maybe like this? Shit. In the court's name! Oh... That looked bad. Did he survive in this rock here? And is he gonna come out now? 
They did say he was immortal. <gasps> oh, he's this old. This stone has stood for countless days on the mountain. Since my youth, they've said that his remains lie within it. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. And if you collect them all, you can summon the dragon. <laughs> Yet no one has ever seen them. Not in centuries. Now we're gonna find them, otherwise there wouldn't be much to gain now, would there? Look at that beautiful scenery. This is one of the things that this game is very much praised for, the way that it looks. All the different races, all the different animals and creatures that, uh, are rendered very beautifully. Chapter one, Black Cloud, Red Fire. Read you death and ever grow. Could you imagine yeah. 20 years ago you playing see? a game? What bliss my face. Thinking so this could be around the corner. Seems so like cinematic. Just fell from a fruit oh, yes. tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. Whoa, that's not a normal fruit, is it? <laughs> All right, I think I'll be able to take these guys on. Lock on target. There we go. We don't have our special attacks anymore. But we got one down. Can we do a heavy attack? No, nope. nope. I couldn't do a heavy attack, that's unfortunate. But yeah, action's called stamina, and I couldn't read that in time. Charge heavy attack. Hold to charge and build up focus. Hold heavy attack to charge. Charging costs stamina, but quickly builds up focus. So I think that what it wants us to do right now is to not use the heavy attack in the fight, but to charge it up as we approach in stealth. So uh, let's try that. There we go. So this right here is not our XP bar, but... It is our focus bar. Jeez, that was quite good. That was quite good. That was... Let's see. We do have something where I can press L1. Is this our health? This is our health bar. Oh, shit. His heavy attack is quicker than mine. So I have to basically let him attack me. And then attack him like that. Immobilize him. And as he's immobilized, take him down. There we go, we got portraits updated. New lesser Yaogwai anecdote recorded. What is this? What do we have? Oh, we have our equipment. Okay, cool. So uh, we have our Willow Wood Staff, which I think we're gonna be able to upgrade. We're gonna have something here, which I don't know what that is yet. Exit examine, we can't examine this. We have our head, we have no headgear yet. We have our just standard gear right now. And then right there we have our old guard, which if we examine this, we can't really do much with it on hand. This is, I think, where we can put our consumables. And then in our inventory, we now have our five tiny pieces of gold. A tiny piece of gold. Its origin is indiscernible. Perhaps some trade could be done at a keeper shrine. Right. So that's just our currency. And then right here, we have Lesser Yao Guai, which I think is basically our codex, where we're going to learn, where we're going to write down all the enemies that we encounter. And then it says, uh, for instance, the, the Wolf Scout. Was that the Wolf Scout that we just fought? Or was that the... Uh, we fought the Wolf Stalwart. Near the sky cares, nor earth will hold. By a liquor's laugh, bold spirits unfold. And drunken dreams and cosmos wide, wake with worries cast aside. Oh, there's going to be a lot more. I thought it was going to be like, oh, this is how you fight them. You know, there's an entire, there's an entire book here, guys. I'm, not, I'm, I'm here to play a game, not read a book, but... I'll probably read the most stream. I'll probably read a whole bunch of the most stream because that's going to call. <laughs> what do we find here? What are we moving towards? Oh, boy. A shrine. Oh, what, what you waiting for? Pluck your hair and make an offer. Okay, I didn't know I'd do that, man. Pluck your hair, make an offer, and then what we're going to get? A thing. Safe point. It's a safe points. It's probably a safe points. Hey, hey, wait. I, the keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. Boy, everyone's so old. I can see that oh, you've been waiting a long your time. Spitting image, I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. All right. And what will we find there? 
once it was bustling with worshippers before it was ruined by that fire. Oh boy. Is this all from that attack we saw? Ah. Then the temple was rebuilt. What good is it to rebuild a temple if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? Hmm. Doesn't get much visitors now, does it? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. And he's gonna hide again. That's a tough one. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Let's see. We can offer our incense and our hopes that uh, it will go all right. Let's see. Rest. Fully restore our conditions. We can travel to different locations and we can leave. Oh, so that's our fast travel point. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's rest up because it's going to be a good one, he says. From here out, we enter the Forest of Wolves, where essentially the gameplay is going to be very similar to what we've seen so far. You explore these new lands, defeat your enemies by recognizing the patterns and then just taking them down to level up. I feel if you've played any of the Sony games like Ghost of Tsushima or the Horizon series, you're gonna feel right at home, like picking plans, exploring new hidden paths, or even encountering hidden events. You don't seem like a wolf. You seem more like a rat. Do you, should I attack you? No, 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 he's running away. He's running away. I've seen him, I've seen him, I've seen you. Can I go, can, can I go follow you? No, I can't go follow you. Right, he, he done something though. He done something to the face. Let me gather the face. Scanned out form, we got a key item right here. What seems to set this game apart, however, is that all of this stuff that we just talked about is basically filler that happens in between the mini bosses. This right here is probably the tough one that the, the old guy was talking about. So we're gonna have to charge up our attack. The bull guard. Oh, that did way fewer damage than I thought it would do. Right, we're gonna have to hit him with a couple of those like, big ones. Just before he can attack, I gotta hit him with a couple of those. No! Okay, so... Okay, I, I don't think I'll have time for that anymore. I'm gonna try it one more time, though. Yes! Okay, so I can still do it, but I gotta make sure that I hit him during his animation. Yes! Okay, watch out. He's probably gonna come for the counterattack. I gotta lock onto him, by the way. If I lock onto him, I'll probably have a better chance of doing something. He's... Yeah, I'm gonna get it. No! Okay, I kind of got... Yo! Okay, I gotta watch out for this. Wait. Define protection? What is this? Oh, it is the old man. Thank you, old man. Oh, I thought it was done for. So I did pretty well. I have, you have to give me that. Oh, it's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, do I get to beat him? Since you hail from Mount Huaguo, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. With the little hand? Now, here we go. Give me your hand. Ooh, there we go. Immobilize spells. A simple hand gesture that can bind the enemy in place. There we go. Boom! The immobilized spell works, but it takes some time to recast. But that will work great in combination with with doing the, the heavy attack. I'm gonna let this guy attack because I think he's gonna be coming in for an attack pattern right now. Oh shoot, he was chasing me. I, okay, so dodging doesn't work straight away. I gotta make sure that I wait for the exact pattern. Whoa, okay, that was really bad. That was really bad. I got hurt pretty bad there. And I died. Now, dying to these bosses is actually not so bad, which may sound like a pretty hefty cope to cover for my bad gameplay, but it's kind of the point of the game. Because once you die to the mini boss, you get reset to the save point. However, you get to keep all of your experience, and all of these enemies that you fought in between respawn again. Because of that, you get to run again through all these enemies, level up, go back to the mini boss, and learn its patterns. The more you do that, the stronger you get, the more levels you get, and also the more you can spec out your skill tree, which you have right here. Now this skill tree is not a one and done set thing, you can never rechange it. If you're at the save point, you can also reassign your points so you can try different builds at the boss. Time to go and do what we've done before. 
Got him. Now time to move back. Move back, move back, move back. There we go. Whew. Right, R2, immobilize. There we go, hit him with a light attack. And then a heavy attack. Boom. Right, so that's what we do. Next time we do immobilize, he should be worse off. So now we're gonna have him, now we're gonna charge up our heavy attack again. And we're gonna go throw it as he's charging at us. And then we're gonna go run away again. This is daring, but I think I can do it. Oh, he was waiting on that. No way. Okay, I'll, I'm always too early with dodging in a way that he still hits me. Right. So then here we go. Charge it up. Oh shit, he was faster this time. Okay, so I really gotta make sure I get my timings in. All right, let me get some health. Let me immobilize him. Boom! Over half of his health down. Shoot, man! I feel like I somewhat have him, but I also feel like what I'm doing is super dangerous. So I gotta watch out. Also, my stamina. I really gotta watch my stamina. Bro, I have completely forgot about that. Let me get some health back. Because I think that I'll be able to do it this time. Get him! Get him! Boy, look at that. That was a whole bunch of will. That was a whole bunch of battling. And we're back with another level, man. Dude, that is insane. That was insane. I've never really been good at Souls games. So I was like, man, should I really play this? Should this really be something for me? Yes, I do think that this game is something for you if you're very new to Souls-like games and you want to try one to kind of ease into it. As from what I've heard from people who've played these games a lot, that this game is significantly easier in a way than the regular Souls-like games. However, that's not to say that this game won't be hard. I found myself now in this situation where on the one hand I have a giant... I don't know if that's a baby or whether that's an old man that's walking around right there. And then over there I have someone who is meditating who I am bothering. Uh, I think I'm going to try this guy first. And then I'll try the guy who said I interrupted him. And I think that he's also going to be a pretty big bad boss. It's an old man. It's not a baby. It's a giant old man. Oh shit. I thought I could dodge that. <laughs> Alright, I've decided I'm going to leave this guy alone until I'm a bit stronger. Until then, I'm going to go and move on to the meditating guy who said I was interrupting him. Yo, you seem like a boss too. You seem like a range boss, man. Hmm, another monkey I see. Were you a bear? Why don't you lay down your weapon and Why join me in goodness mercy? Damn. What say you? You're the one that I gotta have, like, fire potions for. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that one! I'm dead. I am dead. Right here was the point where I was stuck between two mini bosses that I just couldn't defeat. Now, I happened upon this at the end of my first stream and I thought like, well, you know, I'll take them on the next time. The next thing would be a full two hour stream where I would just get trying, practicing and failing every single time. If that sounds tedious and annoying, oh man, it kind of is. But over time, like you slowly start to learn the patterns. Maybe not consciously, but subconsciously you start feeling like, hey, this is where I need to dodge. This is where I need to move. And slowly but surely you get further and further until you finally manage to beat them. Am I, maybe I'm reaching too much for the stars? Which one of us is worse off? Which one of us will make it? I don't. Yes! And oh man, does that feel good. Like that rush of finally getting it. I can kind of see why people really, really like these games. Now, I do have to say though, that I beat that first boss like fair and square. However, the old man, I beat non-power, but on speed. I have a new way to defeat this guy. It's called first watching his every single move. This here is an old man, and we gotta study his behavior. You see this guy walk. 
And another thing that I know about old men is that they don't run very fast. And I'm young, and I'm a monkey, and I can run very fast. So what if we just run here? There we go, we beat him! That's Black Myth Wukong and basically what you can expect from it. For now, I played about six hours of it, and I'll likely play more of this on stream because, believe it or not, I'm actually quite enjoying this game. If you guys are interested, I may actually want to cover this game again when I'm fully done with it, but for now, these are just my first impressions of the game to the point of where I'm at. With that said, let me know what you thought of this like video format, because I'm trying something new here, and let me know if you think Black Myth Wukong is a game that you may be interested in playing, or maybe just not at all. If you want to get the game though, it's right now 60 bucks on Steam, Epic, and PlayStation, so if you want to get it, get it. And with that, that's basically all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.